Hi, I just recorded Shoemaker Legato Etude number 17. This one is in 3-8 in the key of G, so it's not too difficult. It would be a good one to bring as sort of, if you had to entertain at a, like a dinner party or something, or your mom wanted you to demonstrate for your grandparents that you knew how to play the French horn, this would be the one. It's not too difficult and it's kind of fun to listen to. When it's in 3-8, I encourage my students and myself to try to feel it not in 3, but as in 1. This will help your phrasing and your uh, musicality, because usually when people or composers compose in like a 3-8, they really do want you to kind of just feel it in 1. So that's my main suggestion for this one. Um, I don't have a whole lot of tips. I just wanted to just address today a question I had from some people about how I finger my horn. And my horn is sitting in the key of B flat, or it's on, I shouldn't say that. My horn is sitting in B flat. Like I don't have it sitting in F like most American horn players. So when I push my thumb, that's how I get F horn. So it's a little more of a European kind of way to, um, finger your horn, but there are more and more Americans doing that. <clears throat> I chose to, to do that because I want all of my horns to feel the same. My desk can't and any doubles I play. It does make it difficult to demonstrate on someone else's horn or use someone else's horn because pretty much everybody in America plays with it sitting in F, so that's kind of a pain. But as far as my own playing, I like it to be sitting in B flat. Uh, another thing that people were asking me was why do you change your fingerings for like these um, and how much B-flat horn do you use? I basically use the fingerings that I want to use in order to make the horn play better in tune. It's not necessarily that it's just always easier. Most of the time I choose it because of the intonation and where I want the note to sit, if I want it a little sharper or flatter. So that's m most of my reasoning behind choosing different fingerings. I'm kind of um, just basically not shy to use a little F horn or if I want to use a little B flat horn because I mean we've got all these choices so I'm not too strict about that. So that's about it. I wanted to get this video out before um, it got too late. Have a went out in a while. We had some big storms here in Texas, as you probably knew. So anyway, this is 17, and then I have, I'll be like two-thirds of the way through the book. It's 24. Watch out. Thanks.